What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars and Empress Wisdom. How you doing, Piscean, my loves? If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. This could be involving a soulmate, a twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, family member, friend, anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for Piscean. Energies can be vice versa, so get in where y'all fit in. You'll know who you are specifically in the story if you're keeping it 100. Uh, but then again, messages may or may not resonate. If they do, y'all know what to do. If you would like to get a hold of me or uh, contact me, uh, that information is down below in the description box. All right. So, but let's go ahead and get into it for my Pisceans. So um, as I'm doing the pre-channel messages, I'm going to be pulling uh, some specific energies that may be coming towards you, who y'all going towards, who's in y'all energy, okay? So some of y'all could be hot, okay? So some of y'all could be pissed the fuck off, or somebody could be pissed off at y'all, but let's see them. Um, so someone could be trying to raise the price on something purposely because someone is black, or uh, to detour black people uh, because they feel all blacks bring mischief, all right? Um, it is someone's strategy, okay? Uh, this could also be getting a more expensive or upped price on a chain. So somebody could be trying to purchase a chain or something like that. And I feel like somebody could be uh, up in the price or whatever because the person is black. All right. So I'm definitely getting some racist shit. Um, I'm, uh, I was also getting somebody saying, fuck your chain. Okay. So somebody could be like, fuck your chain. Fuck your chain. All right. Um, uh, also, on another note, this is a true love. So if some of y'all was wondering if this person is a true love. They are. Um, but someone's true love could be a headache. All right. Someone feels chained or... Um, or the need to unchain themselves from the situation for themselves. All right, so I feel like somebody is moving into a state of uh, self-love. All right, so I feel like somebody is, who is needing to work on their independence, they uh, are focusing on themselves at this time or needing some self-love. So I feel like that's what they focus on. Um, but they could still be like energetically pulling you, all right? Or uh, you could be energetically pulling them. Um, also, someone's strategy to get their true love hooked is to cause unnecessary mischief in the relationship. All right. So some of y'all could be finding out that uh, some of y'all true love is a little mischievous. OK, and that's why y'all could be hot. Some of y'all could be a little pissed off at somebody because this person likes to stir up unnecessary mischief in the relationship, uh, possibly to block out uh, the truth or block out uh, what, you know, I feel like what this person really is feeling or thinking. All right, so those messages may or may not resonate, but let's see what's going on with y'all and uh, these different energies here. Um, definitely getting your energy. Something significant could have happened in February between you and a Libra. All right, I'm getting a love connection. This could also have to do with a marriage. But let's see, some of have Mars and Pisces, uh, Libra Sun. Some of have two uh, children. All right, let's see. All right, so dealing with a Libra, this person could be a shaman or a doctor of some sort. All right, um, I feel like this could be somebody who used to be into cosmetology or someone who uh, used to be into their looks a lot. Um, this could be a makeup or someone who's into makeup, somebody who could have um, gotten a lot of extensions, nails, stuff like that. I feel like this person could now be a shaman. All right, so I'm, I'm getting roots, tribal roots. Um, so someone could be like Native American. Uh, someone could be... Uh, from North America originally. All right. So original people of North America. All right. Um, I'm also getting someone here could uh, live by the ocean or someone could be from um, somewhere that's close to the ocean. So like an island or somewhere near the beach. All right. So this could definitely be a Libra here. All right. Um, I'm, I'm definitely getting a lot of love between you and this person here, to be honest with you. I feel like this person feels like you're a dream. I feel like this person inspires you uh, regarding your dreams or you do this for them. I feel like it could be mutual between you and this person. I feel like there's a lot of peace, tranquility between you and them. All right. Um, this person may have also helped to heal you in some type of way. Or you did this for them in some type of way. All right. Let's see. I feel like somebody was using somebody as their doctor. Like um, I'm getting like a, a lover like that's like by their person's bedside. Or if, if the kids get sick, you know, mama got the remedies, you know what I'm saying? Or um, if hubby gets sick, mama got, you know, mama got the herbs on deck, you know. 
Um, I'm also getting someone who teaches you to heal thyself, all right? A healthy self, heal thyself. So I'm also getting that the, not only does this person, like, um, you know, give you know, give to others as far as, like, aiding, aiding them and things like that, caring for them. I'm also getting this person teaches you to, uh, you know, do that for yourself. Just a second. All right, so there could be a Taurus uh, that could be someone that you're divorced from or separated from, or some of you guys could be currently married to a Taurus. I feel like this person does not want a divorce, okay? Um, this person could have Jamaican or Caribbean um, roots. Uh, someone here could be an actress or a singer or a lyricist. All right, I feel like this person... Um, I feel like there's grace being bestowed upon this person, like divine grace. This could have been somebody that was your neighbor. I feel like this person, uh, I'm getting secret love. Uh, uh, that's what we are trying to hide. Uh, uh, I don't know where's y'all, but yeah, I feel like this person was a companion or um, I feel like this was somebody that was a friend towards you. I feel like you guys could have been friends at first and then it grew into something more. All right, I feel like uh, this could have grown into something more in secret. But yeah, I feel like this person uh, is a true companion. I feel like this person doesn't want to let go. All right, or uh, some of you guys, there could be, um, you could be linked up with a, a Libra here and use with a Taurus or something, and this person doesn't want to let you go. All right, um, this person could have had a, a secret lover on the low low, but they want to hold on to you though. I feel like this person could have been telling you it was, was their friend. So a Taurus could have been lying to you, saying that, um, you know, oh, the neighbor, that they're just my friend or whatever, but they was a lover in secret. All right, dealing with a Leo energy, I'm definitely getting childish, all right? So I feel like somebody um, somebody has like a, a blocked heart space, all right? I feel like this person definitely needs to work on their heart space. This person could be very immature, uh, very childish, all right? I feel like somebody wants to be a model or wants to be like the prettiest in the room or something like that. Um, and I feel like, but I'm hearing somebody else is like, I'm the highest in the room. All right. So I feel like somebody is like worried about being the prettiest or something. And somebody else is like, bitch, I ain't worried about that. I'm floating. All right. Um, so yeah, I feel like this could be somebody who prays a lot or somebody who, I feel like somebody's praying for a musician. All right. Somebody's wishing for this person. Um, yeah, somebody wants this person to be, uh, you know, to be back with them. Uh, I'm also getting this person pretending like they were a companion here. Um, just so that they could drop their business partner or just so that they could drop a partnership. All right. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody wants someone to divorce uh, here or somebody. Uh, this could be somebody who is an up and coming divorcee. All right. But let's see. Let's get into the recent past. Real fans. All right. Dealing with my Piscean. So in the recent past here. All right, some of you guys could have definitely been dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You guys could have been cold towards this person or this person was cold towards you because they was hiding the truth. All right, so I feel like you discovered this. I feel like that could have, um, this person could have definitely been in their uh, in their head about this. I feel like somebody definitely was feeling some type of loss or some type of grief uh, regarding a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be a father, all right, or it could be regarding a father. But I feel like, yeah, somebody could have also um, held on to a secret unto their death. All right, because somebody was being uh, I feel like there somebody found out in the recent past why somebody why a father was being cold or why an earth sign was being cold or why an air sign was being cold. It's because this person was hiding the truth here. All right. Um, and I feel like somebody was like somebody was trying to take this to the grave or somebody did take it to the grave. All right. Yeah, I feel like but now um, because of that situation being laid to rest uh, with this information being hidden, I feel like somebody has been healed. So even though this information was uh, being hidden, hidden from someone, I feel like uh, it, it being laid to rest actually um, healed someone from a situation here. All right. Yeah, definitely getting a marriage. All right. So this could have been some type of truth surrounding a marriage. I'm also, uh, this could be a past situation, but I'm also getting currently, if some of you guys are married here, I feel like some of you guys could be feeling bored in a marriage, all right, because your person could be being cold towards you, because this person, uh, your person, if you're still with them right now, I feel like they could be being cold because they're uh, keeping something from you here. I feel like they're hiding the truth from you, um, that they are they could be holding on to some type of deception. Yeah, I feel like y'all being cold towards each other. 
All right. Or y'all was being cold towards each other. Yeah, somebody was definitely stuck in their ego trying to hide the truth about something here, about some type of uh, having some type of passion in the beginning with the Leo Aries Sag. Yeah, I felt like somebody could have uh, uh, had a new love or had like a, a rekindling of a love with somebody here in a marriage. Okay, so somebody had like a passionate beginning, a uh, new beginning with a Leo Aries Sag or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but was trying to uh, hold on to a marriage. All right. Yeah, I feel like definitely. Oops, some, I'm hearing somebody was giving or getting some head. Okay. Um, some type of passionate situation here because somebody was bored in a marriage. All right. So I feel like um, that's for some of you guys. Others of you guys, I feel like somebody just restarted a situation with someone here, um, but was trying to hold on to a marriage, but was being boring because they were neglecting the situation by being emotionally withdrawn yeah i feel like this wasn't a an opportunity for a new love but somebody was basically uh pushing that love to the side because they were hiding some some type of truth within themselves so all right this could be you or the person you're dealing with uh, air sign libra gemini aquarius let's get some current energy hold on do we got time for all that hold on y'all So, current energy for Piscean. All right, so some of you guys definitely, uh, something didn't work here with a Taurus. It uh, could be a Capricorn or a Taurus, Aries. All right, I'm also getting someone here could have lost a job, but I feel like this was faded in order to heal this person. All right, because I feel like somebody was being watched at their job. Somebody could have been being stalked at their job um, or someone was just under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of pressure on and it was a lot of uh, too much pressure on somebody at a job here. All right, I'm also getting that somebody could have been working at an unclean environment with rats or roaches. Yeah, it was only a matter of time for this situation to end here. All right, yeah, I feel like some, I'm also getting that some of you guys, it's only a matter of time uh, for a baby. All right, so some of you guys could be conceiving a baby um, in the near future here. Uh, some of you guys could be having a baby here. I feel like it's with somebody that you have an ancient tie to. All right, but I feel like somebody had to release somebody from the uh, past here, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, um, or a Taurus or an Aries, all right? But I'm definitely getting somebody either lost a job, um, quit a job, it's in someone's highest and greatest good to do so, all right? Um, or since, or something's just not going to work here with the Taurus or an Aries, but I feel like something, it, it was fated for this to happen because somebody was being scrutinized and uh, watched so much and... Yeah, I feel like somebody here, it was like a waste of time here. Yeah, with a Taurus or a Gemini. All right, so let's go into the next seven days. All right, so I feel like somebody could be being uh, overly emotional here, but I do see you could be being overly emotional, but I see the Ten of Cups here. So if you are being overly emotional or if you and your feelings, my love, I feel like you don't need to be because I'm definitely getting that your happiness is right in front of you. You're just focused on this bad investment from the past, all right? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys feel like it's a bad investment for you to um, be in this new commitment, this new marriage, this new situation, but it's because you're dwelling on a, a bad investment from the past or you're person uh, had some type of bad investment that's causing y'all to lack financially you could be like motherfucker look we married he fucking me up you know what I'm saying so I feel like somebody could be lacking financially but rest assured things will move forward positively here it's just somebody was uh, still deal somebody still dealing with a bad investment from the past here all right and I feel like that could be making somebody somebody's coins being fucked with is making somebody a little emotional okay um also getting uh, I'm also getting somebody here is trying to be emotionally manipulative in the next seven days here regarding a bad investment somebody's still trying to hold on but somebody already knows it's a bad investment all right this could be a laborer or serviceman all right somebody had a bad investment with a military man a construction worker a laborer a nurse a teacher all right um but i do feel like it, it even though this is being discovered even though this is uh you know someone is walking away from this going towards a positive spiritual connection here a balance yeah i feel like something someone who was unbalanced a libra gemini aquarius someone is balancing i feel like somebody in the shadows uh air sign or a, a fire sign they could be waiting for the outcome okay uh, because they feel like you're unstable or unbalanced, but I feel like you're not. I feel like you and your person or you and somebody else is um, has a good bond. All right. Yeah. But I feel like it was difficult because somebody was juggling a situation. Yeah. But I feel like now someone now that somebody has dropped the baggage or dropped the situation, dropped an ex or something like that. I feel like um, in the next seven days, I'm getting love. All right. Love. 
Never knew what I was missing, but I knew once we start kissing. Okay, so some of y'all is in love, okay? It could be with a Libra, because Keisha called a Libra, okay? Yeah, but I feel like somebody could definitely be um, anxious or depressed because they're being mentally confused, all right? It could be by an air sign or by an earth sign here, or it could be because they get confused about their coins, okay? I'm definitely getting somebody could be putting someone in an illusion here, um, making them think that they're not going to leave the past in the past, but they are because somebody is intelligent and they want you, okay? Yeah, they want this brand new beginning with you, so don't fight it, all right? Or don't fight them. But anyways, love, till next time.